everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet this beautiful petal stitch, which uh, certainly looks like these little petals. That is a beautiful lacy stitch, as you can see here, and it's comprised of triple crochet stitches, chain stitches, and single crochet stitches. So thank you so much for joining me for this tutorial. I'm going to be using a little bit of a Karen Times Pantone yarn by Yarn Inspirations, as well as a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. While you're here, please don't forget to subscribe and check out some of the other videos that you find here on my channel. For our petal stitch today, we're going to start by working a foundation chain. So start with your slip knot. And your foundation chain is going to be need to be a multiple of eight plus two chains. So today I'm going to chain a total of 26. It's 10, 15, 16, 20, 25, and 26. Once you have your foundation chain the desired length, you're going to start by working a single crochet into the second chain from your hook. So count in, one, two, work that single crochet stitch. You're then going to chain two, skip the next three chain stitches, and into the next one you're going to work four triple stitches. So yarn over twice, insert that hook into that chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, three times. You're going to work a total of four triple stitches all into that same chain. Next chain two, skip the next three chains down below, one, two, three, and single crochet into the next stitch. You're now going to repeat chain two, skip three, and work four triples into the next chain. Chain two, skip three, and single crochet. Chain two, skip three, and four triples. Repeat that all the way across. When you come to your final four chains, you have chain two, skip the next three chains and single crochet into that final stitch. Moving on to row two, you're going to start by chaining one, turn your work, and you're going to work a single crochet into that first stitch. Next, chain three, skip the chain two and one triple stitch and single crochet into the next triple. Chain three, skip the next two triple stitches and the chain two and single crochet into the next single crochet stitch. Repeat that all the way across, chain three Skip the chain two and one triple into the next triple, work a single crochet, chain three, skip two triples and the chain two 
and single crochet into your next single crochet. And repeat. When you come to your final set, you'll skip those last two triples, skip the chain two, and single crochet into the top of the next single crochet stitch, and you'll be at the end of your row. For row three, you're then going to chain four and turn your work. Your chain four is going to count as a triple stitch. You're then going to work one more triple into that first stitch, so into that single crochet. Next, chain two, skip the chain three and single crochet into the next single crochet stitch, chain two, skip the chain three and work four triples into the next single crochet. chain two and we're now going to repeat single crochet into the next single crochet stitch chain two and work four triples into the next single crochet Repeat that all the way to the end, chain two, single crochet. When you come to your final chain three space and single crochet stitch, you're going to chain three and then work two triples into that final single crochet. And that brings you to the end of your row three. For row four, you're going to chain one and then turn your work. Next, we're going to work our single crochets and chain stitches across. So we're going to start by working a single crochet into the top of that triple, that first triple. Chain three single crochet into the next single crochet stitch, chain three, and you're going to skip the chain two space, skip the first triple, and work your single crochet into that second triple stitch. Chain three, skip the two triples, the chain two space, and single crochet into the next single crochet stitch. Repeat that all the way across. You can see that this is a pattern that's going to work up very quickly and it's quite pretty when finished. When you come to your final two triples, your chain four and uh, your triple stitch, you're just going to work your final single crochet into that chain four, into the top of it. And that brings you to the end of your row four. For row five, you're going to chain one and turn your work. We're now going to work some more of our petal stitches and single crochets. You're going to start by working a single crochet into that first single crochet stitch. Chain two and work four triples into the next single crochet. Chain two, single crochet into the next single crochet stitch, and repeat. Chain two, four triples into the next single crochet. Chain 
chain two, single crochet into the next single crochet stitch, chain two, and four triples into the next single crochet. When you come to your final single crochet, you'll have chain two and work your final single crochet into that single crochet stitch. From here on in, for the rest of the pattern, you are simply going to repeat your rows two, which was that first uh, time we did our single crochet in our chain stitch row, all the way through to row five, which is the one that we just ended on. And that's all there is to working this petal stitch. So thank you so much for joining me. And until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.